What's up guys, my name is Chris Sovey and I have some exciting news in the world of kidney stone prevention. If you've ever had a kidney stone like me, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about, about the horrific discomfort that comes along with it. Now, typically when somebody has a stone, about 80% of the time, it's a calcium oxalate stone. And with that type of stone, the uh, healthcare provider will typically put you on a low oxalate diet. And the idea behind that is you're not getting in as many dietary oxalates so you don't have to work to break those down so you don't form kidney stones. The research is mixed on if this actually works or not, surprisingly, even though it's so commonly prescribed. But here's the good news. There are some things in development that might have a bigger effect in the long run. Now, if you've seen some of my other videos, you'll know that I have a, a love for learning about gut health. It's a passion of mine. Rebuilding the gut helps to rebuild the whole body in a lot of ways, the mind and, and, and the whole rest of the body as well. And as we're seeing now, kidneys. And what I mean by that is, when you take in a food, and let's say it has a high level of oxalate, what should break that oxalate down is first in your gut. And this is, this is being found through a species called Oxalobacter formingis. Now, I hadn't heard of this particular species before, bacteria. You hear about lactobacillus and all those type, but Oxalobacter, Oxalobacter formingis helps to break down dietary oxalates. This type of bacteria works in conjunction with an enzyme called oxalo-CoA decarboxylase. So it helps to feed into that cycle. The enzyme is what breaks down these oxalates, but you need to have the oxalobacter formingis colonized in your gut. And unfortunately, with broad broad spectrum antibiotics and so many people being prescribed those, they're vulnerable to broad spectrum antibiotics, so they're easily wiped out. The good news is, is that there are probiotics that are being developed specifically around, specifically around this species of Oxalobacter formingis. So keep an eye out for that. There have been studies now that have shown that supplementing with Oxalobacter formingis in the research world has, has reduced a, a recurrent stone former, kidney stone formation, by up to 70%. Now that is huge. I would definitely like to have those numbers. Now as you're waiting for these, products to be developed. The good news is, is that lactic acid, lactic acid, uh, lactobacillus bacteria can also help to break down the oxalates as well. Now they don't do as good of a job as oxalobacter formingis, but they still help out. So be sure that you're getting a high quality probiotic with a diversity of species. I hope this was helpful guys. I would love to spare someone from the misery of kidney stones if, as I have gone through and certainly reduce the risk. These are the kind of videos that I do. I like to help with whole body wellness, mind, body, spirit. If you found this helpful, go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Thanks a lot. An active stretch, something, an isolated active stretch over and over is more calming to the nervous system than